Well, hello boys and girls. Welcome to the Rusty Scale Show. This is the sequel episode of the interior and cockpit painting and weathering of the F4F4 172 Airfix kit. Now it's time to prepare the finished assembled model for the priming. And preparing it for the priming means get rid of the gaps and sand away the seam lines. For the gaps, I usually use the plastic putty of Vallejo. And for the seam lines, I used my microfilter trick. I'll show you in the video. By the way, there is a great video of Genesis models about how to get rid of those tiny seam lines, those hair lines. It's not the same technique as I'm showing you in the video. It's something completely different. You should check out this video if you haven't already. But hold on, hold on, not now, not now, bro. Stay with me, you'll watch my video and then you can head over to his channel, all right? After the preparing, there will be the priming, followed by a beautiful pre-shading, and then we will prepare everything for the paint job. So you ready to find out how it looks? Let's go. Quick dry fitting of the left wing. Now we'll glue everything together with the extra thin cement of Ammo Mig. Now the capillary action of this glue is extraordinary and it has this, this bonding capability. So sometimes when I, when I glue together some parts and there is still a, you know, just a small gap left, I just apply a bit of this glue, wait some minutes and it will just bond everything together. It's, it's very great, I can highly recommend it and I'm not being paid by Ammo Make in any kind of way or something. It's just a very good glue, a very good product, I really like it. Uh, I still use Mr. Surfacer to even the surface there a bit. Uh, it's the, I think, 1000 grit. Now it's important to not shake it because I found out when you shake it you get these bubbles. Okay, now here's the microfilter trick. You use the Alclep microfiller and spray it over the seam lines. Spray it over where you have a, a bigger seam line, but not that big that you can fill it with, uh, with um, plastic putty or something. You have to spray over a, a few coats, like two, three, four coats maybe, depending on, on you know how big is your seam line. It's a bit tricky to spray it on because it has those microfiller components. This is how it looks now. You can still you can still see parts of the seam line. The trick is now do a bit sanding over the seam line, and those microfiller components in the microfiller, you know, you kind of sand them into the seam line, and they become one, and it will be gone. And you have a beautiful surface after that. And it does not require too much sanding. And that's the thing I love about it because I'm really not that much into sanding. So this is the whole trick. After that, I was just rescribing the panel lines with a saw first. This is a very cheap uh, hobby saw. First use the saw for the panel lines. Then clean it a bit with a sanding paper. And after that, re-scribe them again uh, for this, I used the, um, the Revel tool. Now it's time for priming. The last step is um, just to clean it if I have any finger stains or grease stains or something like that. Now for the priming, I used um, the AK Acrylic 3rd generation black primer. I forgot to show it in the camera, but this stuff dries so flat. Look at this. It's ultra flat, really. As the first color of the pre-shading, I use the um, Vallejo model colors white, just a simple white. Uh, 
After that, I switched to some kind of a dark chocolate brown and then light gray green. And with all the paints, I'm always trying to do a random pattern. Don't do it similar on both wings on the same panels. Try to do it randomly. It will look much more natural. And also when you fill it, you don't have to fill it completely. It's okay if a bit of the black primer shines through here and there or you have certain spots. That's completely okay because you want to create that chromatic richness. I wasn't recording. <laughs> okay. I'll try again. Okay. Now I used Synchromate Yellow and a fine brush. Basically, this small kit is full of details, like the wing surface and everything. It's full of details. It's very lovely. Speaking of details, I also used uh, polished metal, Amomega acrylic metal paint, applied with the same brush and just, you know, point out some of the details with a metal color. Now it's time for the lower half of the fuselage and lower surface of the wings to be painted. I use this um, light gold gray. As always, I start with the smaller part just to, you know, check out the flow of the paint and everything. And when I'm feeling it, I start applying it on the model. Be careful, make sure you don't overpaint, like you don't paint a too strong coat so you will cover everything you did in the pre-shading. The trick here is really to just let the pre-shading shine through enough, but not too much. After I did this, I masked everything. I used Patafix to do those, those wave lines alongside the fuselage. Very easy and quick way to mask it. Then medium gunship gray. Vallejo model air colors, you see the sample on my fingers, have no idea how it got there. No idea, really. And now let's go. Time for the final paint. So here I'm doing the first coat, I'm doing two coats. It's better to um, apply two or three thin coats than just one strong coat. It's much better. Also you can Check out how much more paint you need so that pre-shading is just covered right. And you can already see the different panels, they have a different chromatic richness, they have a different tone, and now I'm applying very carefully the second coat. And make sure to make the coat really thin and light and not too strong, because I already can see that, you know, the pre-shading is creating a beautiful result. And I wanna keep that, I wanna have it just right. You can see it already here, the different tones on the panels. And the more random it is, the more natural it will look. So we're already done with the painting job and that means it will be time for weathering. It looks like a puzzle. I think when I have that puzzle look, it's just right. Beautiful stuff.
Now, now see you in the next episode. Next episode will be about the weathering. So hope you see you there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. You'll get a notification when the next episode goes online. Uh-huh. Mm, this is